I got involved with the Salzburg Academy uh, at the very beginning when it started. I was uh, in the middle of my doctoral studies at the University of Maryland and uh, the president and CEO, Stephen Salyer, had an idea to bring together a network of uh, young emerging media makers and leaders to see if we could use media to tell stories that influence the world in a positive way. So 10 years ago, we were at the start of these large-scale social networks. So Facebook was just launching in the public domain. YouTube was a very young uh, technology. Blogging platforms were not so evolved. Uh, WordPress was a very rudimentary and basic tool. Uh, Google Sites was just launched. And so we were experimenting with um, open access public technologies that didn't have a lot of functionality. I remember us getting caught a lot in the relationship between the process of what the students were doing and the output and product of what they're making. I think today we have uh, an endless amount of tools and resources and capacities and the students come with so much savvy in how these tools work that we can extend what we do a lot further. I think what we discovered in those first years was we had a passion a uh, passionate group with us and we had a proof of a concept that if we could bring together diverse cohorts from around the world to Salzburg then we could find positive avenues for using media to influence the world. The Academy has evolved uh, in a lot of ways. So one, we've almost doubled the number of participants. We've doubled the diversity of the project. Uh, we've seen the students and the participants use this network to leverage their own work. So we've seen collaboration in film projects, collaboration in entrepreneurial ideas, in public art, in social activism. Uh, the faculty have collaborated on many research projects and practices. We've published books, we've set up collaborations. Uh, we've just seen this, the, the model mature. The quality of our guests and our partners um, and our institutions has grown. And I think you know it's it's reinforced how we understand um, how we understand media as a powerful tool. So this is both in terms of the student experience, but also structurally for our project. I think for the next ten years, at a baseline, we want to continue to evolve and adapt. I don't think that um, the central the central role of media in our civil society across cultures and across borders and across divides will lessen in the next decade. I think it will only become more of a, a central facet for how democracies and, and societies function. Uh, so I think for us, the goal will be to continue to respond to the pressing challenges and wicked problems of our time and to do it with more rigor and depth and quality. I think we, from what we're doing now in 10 years on the topic of migration can expand uh, meaningfully into a host of topics and we can get better at doing it and we can bring more voices to the table, particularly voices that are less heard. And I think the more we can, we can find the connections across these different constituents, the more power we'll have in the world.